A student produced this for UND's TV show, Studio One. College is a time for students to learn. One class takes learning beyond the lecture bowl. In this class, students learn about a problem and then create strategies to solve them. The course name is Wicked World Problems. It's not just about learning something in a book or memorizing something or taking a test. It's about taking your knowledge and applying it. One wicked problem this class is tackling is homelessness. Every little bit you can do to help is greatly appreciated by everyone. What can you make with a plastic bag, a pair of scissors, and a plan to help the homeless? We're making sleeping mats for the homeless out of recycled plastic bags. Dylan says the process for making a sleeping mat is fairly simple. So you've got your grocery bags and you take them and you just cut them into strips. You know, a two inch law tall strip. And then what you do is you just start taking them and you make a cord, tie them together. And from that cord, you start to crochet them on top of one another. The plastic bags are used for a specific reason. They're moisture resistant. So um, somebody can lay them on the ground, they can put their blankets on top of them, and it helps to keep them dry. Every bag has its quirks. Ew. So if it's dirty or ripped, they just throw it away. For students like Dylan, college is more than soaking up knowledge. It's about how they apply that knowledge to a real world problem. I think taking what I'm learning here and being able to apply it to the global community is the best possible thing I'm learning. The problems posed in this class may be impossible to solve by semester's end, but understanding the issues may be the first step to finding a solution. With photographer Jake Aachen, I'm Peter Monsrud, reporting for Studio One. Dylan says each sleeping mat is six feet long. They are made up of 500 to 700 plastic bags, 